Hey folks, Vortex here and welcome to my review of the Inter Aura Splendor 2. Now I've not tried the number one version or the version one we want to call it. And yeah, as usual, full disclaimers, I'd like to thank Linsol for sending me this, this to try out, so thank you very much. I was not paid to this video, nor thoughts and opinions are my own, as per usual. And yet this is a single dynamic driver with a 4.4 cable, as you can see. Now this meant to include a DSP DAC as well. Like I have not tried this model yet, so I have no idea what it's like. And it's a little bit more pricey. I think it's over two hundred dollars. So yeah, let's just get into it. So that's all you get. So quite a big box for the find the sound you like. I've never seen that before. Uh, this was taped. I've just broke the seal, but I've look, not looked inside yet. So. Splendor 2, 20 is 20 kilohertz, 1.2 meter cable, detachable wires, 0.72 pins, that's pretty normal. Plug USB Type C, so it is 4.4 balanced, and then you can obviously adapt from that. So 10 millimeter driver, and obviously there's some company information. I have no idea about this brand, I've never ever tried them. Again, this is a little bit more of a premium option at the uh, over $200. And let's see what you get. Give it a bit of a wiggle. Bit more of a wiggle it's coming here we go so kind of a cleaning cloth i guess they're in there but we'll have a look so yeah cable obviously two pin to form 4.4 obviously i'll have a look at that when i get to do the review adapter i'll have to see if it supports 4.4 but it's meant to be dsp so i'm quite curious to that also donate a bunch of different tips should be more than enough sound outlet filter screen to so spare filters that's pretty cool uh, number 349 this is actually like a real kind of debit card it's the same kind of material that you can scan it if that's up to you like if you want to it's a case decent size nothing in there so let's have a look so, so far, so good. At least they haven't skimped on accessories. So, obviously, in here should be the last two pieces of the puzzle. This comes out as well. There's the brand. This cut looks like on the actual website. You can get like a couple of different colours of these. So, I have no idea what these are like. So, okay. view and in very very nice it says view on the side and i guess this one should be the same hopefully they're the same color if one was a different color that'd be a bit of a surprise but i don't expect these to be any different yeah so there we go very, very top notch build quality very very nice so yeah gonna spend some time with these try this uh try this dongle out see what it's like and yeah i'll see you in the next clip so welcome to my review, review section of the Intour at splendor 2 so tips so this is basically you get the two sides you get a wider ball as you can see slightly more normal and that's it use whatever suits you now the dongle now they do state it is DSP, and you'll see when I get to the graph, it was graphed using this cable. Uh, quite obviously, this seems a bit stiff, but I've seen time, hopefully it softens up. It's quite large, the connector, but this is for 4.4, as you can see. Now it's good to think, uh, note that they've included the right dongle for the right connection. So I've had it before where the adapter didn't fit the included cable, which didn't make much sense, but this is obviously all correct. So yeah, I noticed in Windows it goes up to 32-bit 384 kHz and also it does not have no mic because it's balanced. And that's it. Obviously power-wise it is set at 100%. Please turn it down up 10%. Fit, like Start at 10% and go up or down from there. So don't ever use 100%. Um, and that's it. But yeah, the only thing to note of criticism with this is when you're not playing anything... Um, there's a small hiss in the background, but obviously when you play music, you don't hear it. That's what I want to say about that. But again, the dongle sounds good, and I guess there is a DSP inside. 
again I've graphed it with this so just bear that in mind so yeah tips get rid of that so this is what it looks like obviously included 4.4 um, it's a bit of a thick cable but it is very flexible this is quite large so just bear that in mind again this is a 4.4 version cable is on the larger side but very you can see supple this kind of black material there's a chin slider here if that matters to you it is very loose as you can see and this is what they look like obviously on the IMs you can see it's, it's it's not recessed it protrudes a little bit as you can see and that's what they look like again no issues at all again it's got a material here so it's slightly thicker than you'd expect um, and that's it so let's just take these off so let's get on to what one of my more, more important things is comfort and fit so here they are so that's the left one comfort and fit I found was very good you can see the DD just in there just about uh, yeah very spot on really you can see they've been very carefully designed that's quite a good length and obviously you can get a lip for the, the the tips so yeah good build quality as you can see is flawless from what i can gather yeah very nice again these are i think 260 dollars so they're not cheap but you're obviously getting more than you pay for compared to some of the cheaper uh models out of china so yeah fits good comfort's good build quality is good now resolution on this set um iframe is very very good considering it's just got the one dynamic driver they've used a very good dynamic driver again in the description because it's from linsole it states the driver material obviously all the information you'll need be in there but yeah very good resolution so sound stage and imaging on this set again is very very good very good set again probably a bit better than i expecting because i've tried some more expensive dds and they haven't been worth it really but yet sound stage and imaging is really nice as it should be for the price um power and sensitivity again i had no issues or anything like that nothing at the ordinary uh also timbre on this set again very good dd timbre you can't beat the natural sound of a single dynamic driver and yeah graph because that's what it's all about so just put these bad boys over here so you can have a look at the graph now again like i said before this is graphed with the uh the dongle like that obviously they want you to use that the phantasm dongle so the low end is has enough punch these aren't bass monsters but they do have enough um kind of sub bass so for electronic music which i typically listen to is actually works absolutely fine pop was actually good classical on this set was good because there's enough treble sparkle but we'll get to that but yeah again these aren't bass heavy but you can also um eq if you want and also you can try it without the dongle and yeah but bass is solid and exactly the same goes for mid-range roll calls is really good for male and female i didn't really find it recessed at all it all sounds very clean and detailed and it sound, it the sound did expensive to be honest because when i tried these um i wasn't sure the value i think it might have been expensive and it was expensive when i checked just before starting this clip yeah so mid-range is solid can't, can't really fault it i like that it's not shouty it's clean crisp and everything you probably want it to really so again straddle into the trouble um not recessed at all probably not a set if you like a darker tuning but i didn't find any sibilants or anything like that i didn't find it shouty it's obviously present the treble is the 8k peak from what i can gather is also fake now as you can see the treble doesn't roll off which means these are very good air to the sound a very detailed set you hear everything they're very resolving which is obviously what you want you don't want to pay this money and lack the details you miss if the sound rolls off but yeah overall quality sounding set seems to work very well on a few genres again i listen to electronic mainly and it seems solid for that but for that you probably want a bit more bass but that's my preference but for the general kind of tracks of pop music i tried this some randomly some michael jackson and it sounds great um uh, something and ray if you've heard of her sounds great with this again some just generic techno phone sounds really solid again for electronic dance music you probably want a bit more low end but overall very resolving clear 
sound it is probably on the tolerance or like of treble um, again if you don't like it you can also EQ it but yeah overall very good sound quality not just the tuning but it sounds quality basically and I think that's pretty much it I don't go too much but so my conclusion of this set do I like it yes only negatives is it's $260 so it's obviously not on the cheap side and that slight, very, very small background hiss when you don't play anything using the dongle. But yeah, apart from that, very, very good uh, DD. Um, obviously, I have to look out for this brand more in the future because they've, they've done a great job. And this is everything you can need. You could probably maybe end game with a product like this because it does everything, in my opinion. But obviously, obviously you can beg to differ. But yeah, quality, quality set. Um, better than I expected. I can see why they charge, obviously, a bit more money for something like this, because it does it all. Very resolving sound. Also, I did mention, very good driver matching, well, channel matching, which is good to see. Yeah, good set. I recommend it. Not cheap, but it's your money. Obviously, you're welcome to do what you want with it, but if you've got a bit of money, yeah, good set. Not much, not much else to say, really. So, yeah, so I'm going to have a few videos coming after this. There's a lot to go through, as you probably saw in the community post. And anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. See you in the next video. And yeah, see you soon.